In the name of God, my name is Dr. Fatima Heydari. Title of my presentation is regarding preprints and publication ethics. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I would like to disclose my conflict of interest. I am founder and editor-in-chief of Medical Hypothesis, Discovery, and Innovation in Ophthalmology Journal, Medical Hypothesis, Discovery, and Innovation in Optometry Journal, the iOpen repository. Other potential conflict of interest already are available in my personal website. Definition of the preprint, actually preprint is a full draft research paper that is publicized prior to the formal peer review process. History of preprint uh, goes back to at least 1960s uh, when the National Institute of Health uh, circulated biological preprints. In 2017, the Medical Research Council started supporting citations of preprints in grant and fellowship applications, and Wellcome Trust started accepting preprints in grant applications. The first preprint study on COVID-19 was published on January 19, 2020, and thousands of articles were published subsequently. Here in this slide, I have listed uh, current preprint repositories, which are available in uh, internet. The important fact is that whether the preprint is good or bad. It's a, actually both. Although studies show that the average normal period for peer reviewing process is 125 days, Many of preprints published papers in less than a week. What they do is an initial screening with a few editorial formalities, the details of which are available on uh, each preprint websites and is uh, specific for uh, each preprint uh, uh, principles. Auto preprints as open publish, uh, publishing platforms provide early access to research outputs. The fact that papers are not peer reviewed in formal process has created deep controversies and concerns. I adopted two pap papers in my next two slides regarding the advantage and disadvantages of the preprints from my own uh, article, which recently published uh, with the topic of the COVID-19 impact on research and publication ethics. Advantages of the preprints uh, could be listed as a prompt dissemination of outcomes, contributes to free flow of information, increased chances of early feedback and comments, increased citation, chances of academic collaborations, make authors uh, enthusiastic, uh, may reduce predatory publishing, increases transparency, may publish negative outcomes and controversies, may receive DOI link to ORCID and uh, uh, Pelagian check, uh, chance to receive grants and awards, promotion of young researchers, early credit, good place for hypothesis and early detection of science misconduct and uh, there are published papers which uh, uh, compare retracted preprints and peer review articles on COVID-19 and the re results reveal that authors identified 40 retracted preprints in this published paper. The increased adaptation of preprint results uh, in faster identification of the erroneous articles compared to traditional peer review shows advantage of preprint. However, there are uh, uh, many disadvantages concerning preprints also, including lack of peer review, absence of quality. However, this disadvantage is a controversy, concerns about premature data, media coverage without robust evaluation, risk of double citation. Uh, since by publishing a peer reviewed article, the preprint may also be cited. Lack of ethical and statistical guidelines in some of the preprints, lack of respect for COP and ICMG, e 
guidelines, breach of intellectual property regulations in some countries, possible harm to health in certain cases, information overload, and uh, breach of uh, angel finger rule, uh, which is a strategy conducted to discourage dissemination of the research reports before they are published in the journal, rush to post low quality research. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the need for preparedness. Preparedness are extending visibility in all fields and preparedness uh, are uh, 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 functioning as a pools to journals. However, in, from uh, my point of view, there are uh, many uh, future outlooks regarding the uh, uh, future of the preprints and progression of preprints, which could be listed in my uh, uh, next three slides as my last slides of the uh, presentation. Uh, first is public review of preprints through social media to assist the peer review process of the journals, although it is not academically reliable. Second, new era in specialized preprints. For example, in the future of the preprints, we will face with the subspecialized preprint website, pulmonary preprints, ophthalmology preprints, and so on. Third, remove of the barriers on inequalities of the indexing some preprints. Some preprints currently are indexed in well-known indexing sources, resources, however, some preprints are not. And in the future, these barriers and these inequalities will be removed. And uh, fourth is removal of conflict of interest between journal publishers and preprint owners. Currently, uh, some uh, official and uh, well-known journal publishers, they have their own preprints as well. And uh, five, the best way to improve scientific integrity of the preprints uh, from my point of view is to hire paid certified independent peer reviewers to check the validity of the validity of the preprint contents. This will enhance scientific integrity of the preprints. This news which recently published uh, shows that uh, one of the preprints uh, received uh, uh, two million uh, actually the um, uh, grant from the uh, uh, well-known uh, well uh, uh, sponsor, and this shows that the, the preprint is a lucrative area currently in terms of the publication um, uh, business. The sixth uh, um, possible outlook of the preprints is automatic update of retracted papers to preprint servers, and uh, they will have the possibility and they will have the uh, ability to update the retracted papers as uh, uh, official uh, journals are doing currently. And uh, seven is uh, in, uh, considering academic credit to researchers who deposit to preprints. It will encourage the progression and development of the preprints in future. Uh, eight is possible invasion of predatory journals uh, toward the preprint websites in order to publish preprint pa web papers without review. This is the future possibility uh, for the preprints. And uh, uh, nine is necessity of adaptation of the preprints to science integrity principles. Although some preprints uh, uh, have commitment to the in integrity pr principles, but majority of them uh, don't have. Uh, uh, so the, in the future, there should be obligation of the, for example, including the ethical code in the uh, published papers in each preprint. Nine is each journal could have its own preprint server. Uh, in this case, uh, all submission could be open access before peer reviewing process. And uh, uh, the 10 possibility in the future of the preprints is defining the criteria of the predatory preprints as uh, there is an exact definition of the uh, uh, predatory journals at the moment. In the future, also, uh, there is possibility as this outlook that uh, the, in the future, uh, the scientists in the field of the publication and journalism will try to uh, define the specific uh, uh, and definite criteria for predatory, predatory preference as well.
the, uh, thank you very much. This was my end of uh, presentation. Uh, and uh, you can find my uh, contact details uh, through either my official uh, email or my personal email. This is my pleasure. If I could help you to uh, clarify more regarding my presentation, if you have any query, please feel free to contact with me. I would be happy to answer. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you for uh, time and uh, uh, attention.